thousand stories of what they think you're like and I. That you're pleased and that I, I'm never alone Cause you're a good, good father It's who you are Come on Zion It's who you are It's who you are And I'm loved by you It's who I am That's who I am It's who I am It's who I am, who I am. Far and wide, but I know that we're all searching for answers. Only you provide, cause you know just what we need before we say a word. You're a good, good father. Can somebody wave those hands and say, It's who you are. in here studying this weekend I say why would pastor come up and interrupt such a good worship service and um, I got an answer to that I was in here praying this weekend prepared and I noticed something in the last few videos that I've done and posted on social media I can 
put on a little clip and get a few hundred comments, I can preach today and maybe there'll be about a thousand comments, but if I pray for somebody, I'll get two or three thousand responses. Just pray it. Please your neighbor say, I need prayer sometime. I, I tell, tell them I need prayer sometime. It's amazed me. I've only done it, done it a handful of times. It's just amazed me sometimes when I'm here on Friday and I'm preparing and before I leave, I just feel an urge that I need to pray publicly for a certain thing and all of a sudden I just pray for it and just an explosion of people. And the largest response I've got want to thank God for bringing us here again today. I believe that the Almighty God will bless us greatly in the name of Jesus. Today is the third, if I'm right, the third Friday in the year 2021, in the month of December. Next Friday will be the last Friday. And then it's going to be Christmas. And also, we look forward for the for the new year. I think we still have two Friday more. Two, Friday. two Friday more. Yes, my apologies. So next week will be our Christmas, and uh, hopefully, by the grace of God, next week Friday, we should have a Christmas menu menu here to to have uh, a family gathering again. And I believe in all houses and also in all our house churches as you are listening. Let's celebrate the Christmas together. And as we celebrate, God will visit us greatly in Jesus' name. Shall we pray? And so, our Father, we are grateful to you again. Thank you for giving us life. Thank you because you have been our helper. From January up to this moment, it can only be you. And that is why we want to return all the glory, all the honor back unto you. Daddy, please receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for what you did in the just concluded Congress. Thank you for many lives that were saved. Thank you for the healing. Thank you for the touch. Thank you for the testimony that is coming. We are grateful. Thank you for your son and all the ministers, men and women that you used in this just concluded Congress. We give you all back glory. Daddy, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Amen. We also want to thank you for our daddy that you have placed over us in this region. It's in Nigeria. We believe God that we will bring him back safely Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you for all our house churches. Thank you for the great and mighty things you are doing there today. Father, please receive our thanks in Jesus' name. Thank you for this region. Thank you for keeping us and helping all our pastors in this region. Daddy, please accept our thanks in Jesus' name. Also, we thank you for our mommy that you have placed over us in this region. Thank you for your grace upon her life. We pray that, Lord, your grace upon her will never diminish in Jesus' name. For us as a church, we ask you, O oh Father, that this morning, O oh God, you will speak to us in Jesus' name. Amen. Let it not be the word of men, but let it be the word from your grace. Amen. Let it be, Lord, in the name of Jesus. Amen. And as we march out after the service here today, O oh God, let your grace continue to follow us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Speak to us this morning. In Jesus' name we pray. Praise the Lord. Amen. I want to thank God once again for bringing us together. And uh, we we'll thank God for wonderful Friday schools this morning about meditation and also about waiting. We also want to thank God for the testimony that we have listened to. Great, great, great testimony we abound with us in the name of Jesus. Very briefly this morning, I'll be looking at a message that God lay in my heart for us to share this morning and that is about finishing strong finishing strong as the year is going to an end we talked about some weeks ago about taking an inventory we last week we look at moving forward and today we want to talk about finishing strong I pray that the Almighty God will bless us as we look at 
the scripture today in Jesus' name. A memory verse, the text will be taken from First Corinthians, First Corinthians chapter nine, First Corinthians chapter nine, and I will be reading from verse twenty-four. First Corinthians chapter nine, from verse twenty-four, and it reads, "No, Lord, they which run in rage, run or." One will receive the prize, so wrong that you may obtain. And every man that strive for the ministry in temperance, in temperate, in all things. Now they do it to obtain a corruptible crown, but we are incorruptible. I therefore so wrong, not as uncertainly. So what? I, not as one that beated the year. It is very important that we, as Christians, that we need to understand the need to finish very strong. When you are on a race, you can start well, and everybody will start well. But it is only one person who will win race. Yet, there are many people that will finish the race, but some people will not be able to finish. That will not be our testimony in Jesus' name. Amen. To be able to finish the race, we need to have faith. Faith in the Lord that we carry us through. As the year is coming to, to close, most of the company, they look at their financial reports. Some are already gearing up to, to look at their, uh, their profits. Some are already looking at the revenue of what they are making. And they are already telling the team that, hey, we need to work for the remaining days so that we can close year with whatever budget, with whatever plans that they have set for the whole year. So also is the Christian done. The need for us to finish the year strong is so important as we begin a great year ahead of us, 2022. You need to take a little bit of an inventory about things that are still yet not yet accomplished in this year, 2021. You need to look at them and see which area that there is a need for you to adjust. Or maybe because of the situation around, you feel down. You are way down. You are thinking and say, oh, how am I going to do in the year 2022? So that is why this message is coming to you. That you need to rise up. You need to finish very strong. You need to look away from whatever is happening and take up the mantle, your Bible, and remember that the promises that are written there, they are yea and amen. They are meant for you. They are meant for me. And as you take that challenges, that these promises are for you, God will make you to finish well in the name of Jesus Christ. The Bible says in where we are read in 1 Corinthians verse 24, it says, do you not know that in a race, all the runners but won't get the prize? So run in such a way that you will get the prize. Even though you are tired, even though that the surrounding looks so difficult, run, wake up, stare up, don't give up. Many times, our Father in the Lord for this region, when he sees my face as, as a pastor, he will tell me as a pastor, Sean, don't worry, keep strong, hold on to God, keep on, that all will be well. So I'm saying to somebody that is listening to me through this medium this morning, that all will be well in the name of Jesus Christ. In 2 Timothy, very quickly, 2 Timothy, let's open our Bible to 2 Timothy chapter 4, verse 1 to 7. He said, 
Paul was admonishing Timothy. He said, I charge thee therefore before God and the Lord Jesus Christ, who shall judge the quicken and the dead in his appearing and in his kingdom. Preach the word, be instant in season. He was admonishing him that Timothy preach the word, be instant in season, out of season, reprove, reprove, rebook, exhort with all long suffering and doctrine. For the time will come when they will, when they will not endure some doctrine, but after their own Lord, they shall do what? They shall hear to themselves, teachers having itching ears, and they shall run away their ears from the truth, and they shall be turned into fables. But watch thou in all things, endure affliction, do the work of an angel, uh, evangelist, make full proof of thy ministry. For I am now ready to be offered, and the time of my departure is what? Is at hand. But in verse 7, he says something that I want to encourage you with. He said, I have fought a good fight. I have finished my course, and I have done what? I have kept the faith. You will, that will be your testimony at that time in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Paul says that he, has, he was making a decision. He was looking at everything he has done. He said, I have fought a good fight and I have finished my course. One of the things very important is that we need to be sure of our calling. In order for you to be sure of your calling, you have to finish well. You have to finish well. Paul make a decision here. He said he has fought a good fight. He has finished his race. Very quickly, I will look at some points. What are those things that will enhance us to finish well as we continue in this Christian journey? Number one, he had a de desert experience. Paul had a desert experience. A desert experience, this is an experience that helped him to have time with God. You know, in our, in our Friday school today, we talk about meditation. We talk about uh, having time alone with God. We need to have, uh, as a Christian, for you to finish well, you need to have a desert experience. Paul, when he was going, God calling, there was nobody there. He had to have time to pray. He had time to say, who are thou? He had time to study. He had time to have close, closer relationship with the Lord. He had time to, to understand what was the calling of God upon his life. After his great encounter with Jesus on his way to Damascus Road, he received his high side by the hand of Ananias. You see, Paul is not accepted well by most people. When after going, he started preaching the gospel. But he had time. He had time. We need to have time to study the word. When since our Father and the Lord have traveled and He has assigned to me to preach, to, to, to handle the message, I have to study to make sure that, and then I also have to have time to pray to seek the face of God, to understand what does God wants me to preach. I, ha I have to do that. And that is something that we need to do as a Christian. You need to have time to pray. You need to have time to study. You need to have time to deny yourself. You need to have time to deny yourself of certain things. If you are going to finish strong, brothers and sisters, in this period, you need to have time with God. What are those times you need to, to have? Number three, three things. Number one, time to pray. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verse 16 to 18 says that pray without season. Just like we say, pray without season. I think, bro, I did buy, I did, uh, I did buy a, I you saw my message already, you know? Pray without season. 1 Thessalonians, we need to have time to read his word. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15, says, Study to show thyself what? Unto God, a workman that needed not to be what? Ashamed, but rightly divine what? The truth. You see, you need to have time to study the word of God. Number three, you need to have time for fellowship. 
it, you need to have time for fellowship. Hebrews chapter 10, verse 25, not forsaking the assembly of ourselves together. Many people during this period, they have lost connection with God. No time to listen to the word. No time to fellowship. No time to even pray. Because we don't have uh, the physical gathering. They don't even attend the house church. They don't even have time to pray. They don't even have time to study the word of God. This should not be so. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus Christ. Number two, Paul was ready. Be ready and be available for God. If you want to finish strong, you need to be ready and be available for God. Too many times we are not ready for the opportunity to minister when it comes to being available for God. You know, sometimes when I'm scared, when daddy asks me to do something, I say, daddy, I'm so busy. We all are very busy, but we must be ready. We must be ready. It must be like a Boy Scout motto. You know, be ready at all time. Be prepared at all time. That should be our motto. When Antioch, when in, 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 he said too many times we are not ready. In 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 15. You see, Paul worked closely with others in his ministry and involved in the ministry. That was mentioned in the book of 2 Corinthians. He worked very closely. We must be ready to walk and have the mind of walking and working for God. Being available. Being available to come to the fellowship. Being available to pray. Being available to study. So many people don't have time for digging deep. It shouldn't be, brothers and sisters. People don't have time to join the prayer meeting. It shouldn't be. My, you know, we sing that song, my time, my life, I will give it all to God. When God is now requesting from you, my son, I need you for digging deep. My daughter, I need you for prayer. Cry the time. One hour. That one hour sometimes I will be watching television. Even though my father and the Lord talk about it, he said, don't spend that, don't do that. You know, we have that time to be at the digging deep. We have that time to pray. The Lord will help us in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Number three, we need to be focused. To finish strong, you have to be focused. Paul was able to be focused, not on things seen, but on things that is not seen. We must be focused. Like a pilgrim, like a Christian pilgrim, you have to be focused. You cannot let anything to deprive you of not being focused. I remember, I remember many years ago when I first traveled to Australia. I wasn't an accountant then. When I got to Australia, I didn't have a job. I started working in the factory. 4 a.m., I'm in the factory already. And the factory was where the pipe was coming from the water. Pipe, very strong pipe. And I would wear gloves and the pipe would be coming. I would be walking 4 a.m. in the morning. It was so cold. You know, the air, it was, I've never been there before. And in the middle of the night, I mean, when I have my lunch time for, uh, by 12 o'clock, I will go into my car, I will change my 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 rope, I will change everything, I will wear the suit, I will go for an interview. I was focused that I want to be an accountant. I was focused, very, very focused. I will go for an interview, I will receive a letter, sorry, you are not qualified. Again, I will go for another interview, sorry, you are not selected. I kept on doing, I kept on, I kept on. One day, I got the breakthrough. And I became, a, it became accounts payable, from accounts payable to account receivable, company accountant, to become a uh, to become a financial controller, to become a CFO, to become the if I'm in Australia today, I was hoping to be a CEO. But because in UAE, you don't have the Arabic language. But you know, that must be you must have a plan and a focus. You must have a plan that when you are born again, you want to be sanctified, you want to become. Filled with the Holy Ghost, you want to become a, uh, a worker. After being a worker, you want to be an assistant pastor. You got to have a focus. Everything here on earth, we will leave it. Paul was very focused. He was focused. Paul learned to be content that it is important part to finish well. You have to finish well. 
Maybe right now your your sense of direction is being shaken in UAE and you are thinking of giving up. Don't give up. God will take you to your promised land in the name of Jesus. You need to be focused. Learn true by listening to the word of God. Learning through the fellowship. Joshua said in verse 1, he said, This book of the law shall not depart out of their mouth, but thou shalt meditate. In what? Daring day and night. you got to have time to, to pray, time to study the word, time to have fellowship with God. If you are listening to me and you are seeing yourself in the mirror this morning, Examine yourself. Where do you position? Where are you positioned with God? God is asking you, my son, my daughter, come unto me. I will receive you this morning. And as you come to God, the Lord will receive you in the name of Jesus Christ. Finally, I'm going to say that for number four point: learn to handle shipwreck. Learn to handle shipwreck. To finish strong. Paul learned how to handle shipwreck. Have you had some shipwreck this year, 2021? I know some of us have had to deal with some things that we're not expecting. Whatever is the situation that you find yourself in this year, learn to trust in the Lord. And as you trust in the Lord, God Almighty will remember you in Jesus' name. We've been taught our Father in the Lord has prayed for us that the siege is over. Our faith in him that whatever the siege you are going through, it will be over in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. Yesterday I was talking to, uh, somebody just sent me a voice message. He sent me a voice message. And in that voice message, he said, this, 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 pastor, I mean, he didn't say pastor. He just said, you know, this, 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 I am in this also place. Before the end of next week, I'm going to give you a good news. And I was like, wow, that would be so in Jesus' name. Amen. And then my father called me from Lagos, and he told me again, the same confirmation of the, what the man was said to me from Lagos. He called me yesterday. He said, uh, I, go. I said, yes, dad. He said, I've been, I just prayed with somebody, and the man said, this, 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 this. I was like, what? God? Is this how you work? This is how God works. The Lord that we serve, it will work for you in Jesus' name. Learn to trust God. God, in time of shipwreck, learn to trust him. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5 says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and live not in your what? In your own understanding. Number two, Paul knew that his anchor was sure that where most of us live it. Hebrews chapter 6, verse 8 to 19 said that, by two immutable things in which it is impossible for God to what? To lie. That promises that God has for your life, he will not lie about it in Jesus' name. It will come to pass in Jesus' name. Amen. Number three, Paul knew, knew they are to stood with God day and night. Learn to stood with God day and night. What do I mean with that? Learn to pray. Learn to pray. Learn to seek the face of God. You know? Paul in John 4, verse 1 said, Here are God, my little children, and you have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Learn to stand with the Lord. You have to finish with my brother. You have to finish with my sister. No matter the situation, I pray for you this morning that you will finish strong in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Paul finished strong by giving himself he finished strong by pouring his heart onto the Lord. You must finish strong. You must make that determination. Even though there are a few days that are left in this year, I will finish strong. And you will finish strong in the name of Jesus. Mm -hmm. You are listening to me. You are not born again. You need to have that encounter with the Lord this morning. And tell him, I say, Lord, I want to finish strong. I want to know you. And I should make that commitment, that decision. The Lord will receive you and say, that's my son, that's my daughter speaking. Come into your father's, into your father's house and it will turn your situation around in the name of Jesus Christ. Shall we rise up to pray? I want you to tell God and say, Lord, I want to finish strong. I want to finish strong. I want to finish strong, Lord. Help me, help me to finish strong. Help me to finish well. Help me, help me, oh God. 
that no matter what is around, no matter what is happening, Father, I will finish well, I will finish strong in the name of Jesus Christ. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Father, help me to finish strong, help me to finish well. In this year, 2021, I want to finish well, I want to finish strong in the name of Jesus Christ. Help me, help me, help me, help me, help me, oh God, help me, oh God. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. You're going to say, Father, in the year 2022, let your grace keep me and my household strong in you. In the name of Jesus. Let's pray that prayer. Let's pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Father, in the coming year, let me, let your grace keep me and my household and help us to be strong in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help us to be strong in you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Grant us the grace to be strong and to hold on to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to say, Father, every power contesting your grace in my life, fight against them. In Jesus' name. Pray that prayer. Pray that prayer. Every power contesting your grace in my life, fight against them. Every power fighting against your will, your purpose for me not to finish well. Father, fight against them. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray and say, Father, help me to finish strong financially, materially, spiritually, mentally, in this year and in the year to come. In the name of Jesus. Pray that prayer, pray that prayer, pray that prayer. Lord, help me, help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, help me. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. Help me, oh God. I can't do without you. Please help me. Please help me. Please help me. Help us, oh God. Help us, oh God. Give us your grace to finish strong. Give us your grace to finish well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Give us your grace, oh God. 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 To finish strong. To finish well. In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Blessed be your name, Lord. In Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Amen. Our Father, our God, we want to thank you for what you have sent to us this morning. Thank you for your son you have used to speak to our lives. Daddy, your word says, your grace is sufficient unto us. Yes, Lord. And that grace, O oh Lord, we receive this morning. Amen. To us, and to everyone hearing us right now, we receive that grace, O oh Lord, to finish well Amen. and to finish strong. Amen. In the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. Amen. Father, for the remainder of our Lord of this year, O oh Lord, yes, Lord, that thing we are praying, we are asking, because the siege is over. Yes. That that means, O Lord, you are supposed to concern our lives, concern our family, yes. concern our destiny, yes. that have not yet manifested. We receive them, O oh Lord. Unto manifestation through the blood of Jesus yes, in the mighty name of Jesus Amen. Christ. And clear, oh Lord, Father, that by your power, by your grace, O oh Lord, we will enter into the year 2022, O oh Lord, gloriously, yes. victoriously, yes. in the mighty name Amen. of Jesus. Jehovah, we decree yes, and we ask, O oh Lord, that according to your word, O oh Lord, by your grace and by your mercy, yes, Lord. you will perfect everything that concerns us and our household. Amen. And establish, for, establish us, O oh Lord, Amen. for your own glory. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Jehovah God. You, blessed, blessed, blessed be your holy and gracious name. Yes, for in Jesus' wonderful name, we are praying. Amen. Thank you for joining us. Yes. We forward to see you next week, same time. God bless you. You just begin to open up your mouth and begin to give them the fruit of your lips all over this room to your dad, to your, to your papa, to your to your father in this room, come on. Born I heard a thousand stories of what they think you're like and I heard a tender whisper of love the dead of night and you tell me that you're pleased and that I, I'm never alone. Cause 
you're a good, good father. It's who you are. Come on, Zion. It's who you are. It's who you are. And I'm loved by you. It's who I am. It's who I am. It's who I am. Only you provide Cause you know Just what we need Before we say a word You're a good, good father Can somebody wave those hands and say It's who you are And I'm loved by you It's who you are, it's who you are, and I'm loved by you. That's who you call. That's who I am. That's who I am. That's who I am. Lift those hands and say, because you are perfect in all of your ways. Perfect in all of your ways. You are perfect in all of your ways. As you call me, deeper still as you call me, deeper still I hear you calling yeah, yeah, yeah. me, in the midst of the noise, yeah. I hear you calling me, God, even though things are chaotic, I hear you calling me, Lord. 